Hi, this is Passy's World of ICT with our part two of making our booking forms page for Robbie's Outdoor Services. Okay, so we need to do the payment type and choosing the payment MasterCard or Visa. Put this image in an AP div. Have these uh, text area here, four lines of it, 45 characters wide, also in an AP div, and the submit and clear form buttons. Okay, so that's where we're up to. Now, something we hadn't done last time was we had these tables lined up right against the edge of the uh, page there and we needed to change that okay so that they've got an indent so how we did that in Dreamweaver was it was a little bit tricky down the bottom here in properties you got to use this text indent the uh, right hand blue button we actually had to uh, make the indent sort of above the table then control X cut the table and then control V paste it back in okay so these tables we made we had to uh, get that little blue arrow indent in and then control uh, X to cut them out and control V to paste them back in so we're right here and we're going to put in payment type now we need to of course stylize that so we'll just highlight that text uh, do the same thing we've been doing size 14 and making that a yellow color all right now we want to move, you can press one space here, but after that Dreamweaver won't do any more spaces. We want some spaces before we have the drop down for payment type. We want four spaces. Now, what we do is we go up the top here to text and click on the text tab. And here, this will probably be on line break at the moment. Uh, and what we need to do is click on that arrow and go to this one non-breaking space okay and get that symbol up there then every time you click on that symbol which we're going to do three times right now one two three that's made spaces down here in payment type alright so now we're ready to go back to forms and the one we want is one of these list menu guys so we click on list menu and the ID is going to be the payment we don't need a label because we've already got one there payment type which we've made ourselves so we click OK now click on the light blue arrow for that guy um, double click on it it'll come down in the properties here and you'll be able to do list values alright so you click on list values and the first one is going to be here that we need to okay choose the payment so choose the payment usually the first one you make is the instructions okay not as an item we now use the tab key on the left hand side of the keyboard to go to value we don't want a value so we tab again and our first one's going to be MasterCard and tab and then tab again and the other one is going to be Visa and we're finished now and so we click OK alright so that's where we're up to so far and what we need to do now is just go shift enter to make a space there and another one okay so that was shift enter twice and now we're here now we're ready to uh, put in that picture of the visa and whatnot now here we need to go insert we need a um, layout object down here layout object and we want an AP div remember we've done AP divs in an earlier tutorial and what that gives is that you can have a box drawn here which is where you are going to put an object in alright so we'll just uh, take that box click on it grab the corner of it and kind of move it down a bit what we might also do here is just uh, we might have to extend our form so out we're now inside the AP div alright now the size of the AP div let's just get on it at, down in here it's 88 by 75 now we think that the size we're going to need is about 83 and the height will need to be bigger I think maybe 110 alright so we'll try that alright now we need to click inside the AP div get this big blue cursor and we're going to insert an image inside there and the image we're going to get is from Robbie's Outdoors. Go to the images, and we want the Visa MasterCard logo. Now, this picture is too big at the moment. Uh, it would have been better to have resized that in Photoshop, all right, first, because it'll take 
um, a while for this to load into the web page and resize so it's not really great efficiency doing it this way alright so what we're doing is we're going down and grabbing the corner there with the double arrows and we're just going to resize that till it's around what we want it I think we want it we want it to line up with the end of payment type and we want it to go down about 110 okay so down in the properties you can see those things moving as we uh, adjust it with the mouse and so we need to be at 83 and 110 what you can do is just even go in here and type them in okay 83 and 110 alright so that's got that in there now what we need to do next is push and shift enters to make that sort of red box bigger for putting other things in okay now down the bottom we've made some extra space we'll just be able to backspace out of that and now we need to be able to see where our red thing is. I might just do control Z there and now we've got that there. The next thing we need is another AP div so we're going to go to insert and then we need um, layout objects and AP div and just say OK on the message that pops up. Now we need to move this AP div over to here underneath choose payment, make it wide so it goes to the end of those tables and inside that AP div click so we've got the big blue cursor now we need to go to the forms tab we want this fourth one across text area okay so we click text area that's going to be where we can put uh, information all right and we'll say okay on that we don't need a label for it and that's put it in there now if we double click on that guy down the bottom here we can go to the character width is 45 and we're going to set the number of lines down to four not have five lines all right so that's going to be that area there now if we preview this in Firefox to see how it's going all right what's happening so far is that AP div is kind of up in the air not where we want it down here okay so we're gonna have to be moving that alright so sometimes what you see in Dreamweaver isn't exactly what you get so we're gonna do some fiddling around and move that around and then we'll be back after that alright so what we've done is we resize the AP div so it's snug with that um, text area we just um, resized this one a bit and made it look good and in here see down in the properties inspector for this text area box it's got an initial value now it's in the initial value where we need to say please enter additional instructions or we could say um, please enter any special instructions okay so we're just going to set that up and then we'll be back so in that init value we've just put please enter any special instructions here then when we click off that you can see it goes into the box alright let's preview this in Firefox and see how things are going alright that's looking pretty good all we need now is our submit and reset buttons down the bottom here so let's go to Dreamweaver and work on that alright so down the bottom here we'll just do shift enter and we need to go to the forms and to the button okay this one here button and click on that uh, this is going to be the submit button so we'll just put submit for its ID um, we don't have to put a label on it and it automatically comes out submit now if we click on that button double click on the button make sure I double click see how the values submit and the action is set at submit form so that's all okay as it is alright so in Dreamweaver let's go next to that button and just make one space there and now we'll just do the same thing insert button this one is going to be reset for its ID we don't need to put a label in we can just click OK and see it's also called submit so we double click that button and here for the value we set that value to reset and then the action is we want to reset the form which will clear out all the fields so that they could redo it if they totally messed it up alright uh, one more time preview in Firefox save the changes yes alright it looks like we're there we can now enter this dates times we can choose our payment method visa we can put some instructions in here such as uh, be careful 
of the dog, you know, in case he's one of those dogs that bites people or something. Um, yeah, and we can submit that there and send it off to Robbie, all right? And then it's ready to uh, redo. So this form, Robbie could either uh, have people go online and fill it out themselves and submit it, or he could be on the phone doing a job, lining a job up, and put all this stuff in and submit it himself, and it would be saved onto his system. All right, we're not going to go all the steps to doing that, to uh, creating an email or putting this in a database, but that's basically our booking form for the site. All right, so that's all good and done. That was quite a bit of work, and these tables here are really fiddly, um, moving them and resizing them to get them to line up, and making sure we have some indents here so they're not all jammed up against the side of the page. The AP divs are very handy to put these guys in because it sets them in a position on the page where they cannot move around, and they will stay there. All right, thank you for watching this tutorial, and remember, visit our website, Passy's World of ICT, for lots more free tutorials and fun things that can be done with computers.